Hi everyone. This is Suram and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to solve the numericals that are based on the pulley chapter 3 machines standard ICSC 10th machines numerical based on pulleys. So let's start practice problem one. The pulley system has a five pulleys in all and is 90% efficient. Calculate mechanical advantage, the effort required to lift a load of 130,000 Newton and the distance due to the movable parts of the machine and the friction. So mechanical advantage, since efficiency is having the form of the mechanical advantage over velocity ratio. So mechanical advantage is equal to efficiency into velocity ratio. 90 over 100 into 5 that is 4.5 load over effort is equal to mechanical advantage or effort is equal to load over mechanical advantage so it comes to be 2 2 2.29 2 newton sorry that x is the friction between the movable parts of the machine so mechanical advantage is equal to velocity ratio minus x over e or x is equal to e in, into Velocity ratio minus mechanical advantage. Then we have the diagram shows a single fixed pulley system. Mark the direction of the force due to tension. What is the purpose of the fixed pulley? And if T is the tension and the strain, new tension in Newton, what is the relation between T and E? So first A part. Tensions, here are the tensions that is marked here. First tension, second, and third. A part. It is in upward direction. Is it? Direction of the tension is in upward direction. What is the purpose of the fixed pulley? If the effort is applied in upward direction, it is inconvenient so with a single fixed pulley. The direction of the effort is changed, changes downward. So, if it is downward, then one can use its own weight, body weight to lift the load, and it is easier to lift the load upward. C part, if T is the tension in Newtons, what is the relation between T and E? So T is equal to E. T is equal to E. Is it? Tension is equal to effort. Velocity over distance moved by the effort over distance moved by the load so that is equal to 2d over d and that is equal to 2. This free end of the pulley of the effort through move through the distance 2d and load is raised by the distance d and efficiency is equal to efficiency is equal to 100 percent then mechanical advantage is over 2 is equal to 100 over 100 mechanical advantage is equal to 2 so if mechanical advantage is equal to load over effort mechanical advantage is equal to 2 load is 100 newton so effort is 50 newton then we have the practice problem to first part there is a diagram that shows a load of 30 kilogram force is attached to a mobile block what is the velocity ratio of the pulley system velocity ratio is the number of segment of the string that is equal to 3 Strings are 3 here, 1, 2, 3. Since the effort is applied in upward direction, so mechanical advantage is equal to velocity ratio that is equal to 3. So if the number of pulleys are 3, but the mechanical advantage comes to be 3 because the effort is applied in upward direction. Mechanical advantage is equal to load over effort that is equal to 3 is equal to 30 kilogram force over E. E will be 30 over 3 that is 10. Again, efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage over velocity ratio is given 60 percent so 60 over 100 is equal to l over e mechanical advantage is l over e into velocity ratio so e will come out to be 16.66 kilogram force <coughs> second part a pulley system has a pulley in three and movable lock and two in fixed block as the effort is applied in upward direction and the load of 60 kg force is attached to the mobile block. What is the velocity ratio of the pulley system? 
this is the diagram this statement is a little change i think in the book is it it is written wrong so you have to write you have to interchange these three and two is it in the book also so what is the velocity ratio of the pulley system velocity ratio is the number of strain in the stands that is one two so one two three four five six then we want is equal to loss ratio that is equal to six tank event is equal to load over effort load is given so effort we can find tank kilogram force efficiency is mechanical event is equal to loss ratio it is given 75 percent efficient so it is simply as we have solved in the previous one calculate the effort effort is 13.33 kilogram force then next part pulley system with the velocity ratio 4 is used to lift a load of 100 kilogram force through a vertical height of 15 meter the effort required to do so is 40 kilogram force what is which is applied in the downward direction calculate the distance through the which the effort is applied so velocity ratio is going to distance moved by the effort of distance moved by the load so 4 is going to distance moved by the effort over 15 meter distance moved by the effort is 60 meter work done by the effort is equal to effort into a distance of the effort so 40 kilogram force that is converted into newton so 40 into 10 newton because 1 kilogram force is equal to 10 newton which comes to 24,000 joule mechanical advantage is equal to load of effort load and effort is given 2.5 Efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage of loss ratio is 1 to 100%. So, mechanical advantage of loss ratio this will come to 62.50%. So, number of pulleys in the upper and lower block. Four are there total. Two pulleys in the upper block and two in the lower block. Second, a pulley system in the loss ratio 3 is used to lift a load of 60 kg force to a height of 20 meter. The force is applied in upward direction and its magnitude is 25 kilogram force. Calculate distance through which the effort is applied. So same way, distance can be calculated by using the formula. Velocity ratio is equal to distance moved by the effort over distance moved by the load. So it comes to be 60 meter. Work done. E into distance of the effort. Again, 25 kilogram force is converted into Newton. So it comes to 15,000 joule. Tank advantage of the joule pulley system that is equal to 60 over 25, 2.4. Efficiency mechanical advantage of the loss ratio to 100% that is comes to be 80%. Two pulleys, total number of pulleys in the fixed and movable. Two pulleys, one in the fixed and one in the movable block. So this was all about this part. So with this year, Chapter is over.